All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, we were in the middle of the KO trials and we beat a couple of the bosses at the end of it. We have two more and the next one is actually a nightmare. Uh, wipe me. Uh, it's my second video doing this. Um, I had to change my parties. I got Rosa, Yang, and Edwards. They got the best equipment they can have. Everyone set the fight. Uh, this fight is hard because this boss is unfair. This is a quick way out of the dungeon and we'll be using this after we finish the two fights. Um, so we're going to go after this one first. So to give you a heads up, he has 40,000 life. Um, Rosa is going to cast Karaja on every single round. Um, and then everyone else will do Phoenix Downs and she'll keep casting it. I made the mistake of doing a rise to bring back a character and it got me wiped. I should have bought some Phoenix Downs before I came back here. If I fell again, I will. Um, Alright, so I need to cast Bazaga on her. Alright. Here we go. Wish me luck. Maybe I can get it this time. Alright. So a normal attack from Cecil and Yang. Even if we don't need it, we're casting Karaja. That's how bad this boss is. And did I say Blazaga? Yep. And he, uh, he'll be, Edward will be on item duty. Okay, so that's how we take care of this boss quickly. Got it. That Blazaga was something I wasn't doing last time. So just in case you missed it, um, this boss again has 40,000 life. And we need to keep our life up because he can kill us in one hit sometimes. Like this move. This is one of the moves that is devastating. I'm not sure why Edward didn't heal. Okay, we got him. Oh, Lord. Yep. So we got God Hand, which is a is the top what one of the weapons for uh, Mr. Dang. How good is it? Not much better than what he's got, but I mean it's better. Okay. Um, so next up. We're gonna come here. I'm gonna sell all my uh, tents because they're worthless. All oh, right. Okay. So I haven't fought this guy yet. So he has 50, 55,000 life, and we're gonna go into pause so I can run him down for you. All oh, right. Um. 55,000 live. Rosa's going to cast Berserk Haste on Yang and Ciso. Um, and then she'll go back to healing duty. Uh, Rydia will summon Bahamut. Unless extra healing is needed, we'll use Sylph. Edward keeps everyone alive with <laughs> Phoenix Downs and uh, High Potions. Um, if we can't keep up with his physical attack we can also cast um, blink on the front end and yeah okay so berserk and bahamut i'm probably gonna do that anyway i think it's almost time for a karaja Okay, that's beautiful. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I don't know what I just did. That's not what I, I double tapped it in a normal way. Come on, die, 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 die. Oh. 
It's got to be almost dead. Done. All right. And what do we get? We got the Apollo's Harp, which is a weapon for Mr. Edward. Oh, right. So we're going to go ahead and see what it does. What does it do? I didn't see what it was before, so let's see. So it almost doubles his attack. Okay. Right. What else does it do? Harp immersed in the power of the sun. So that's the end of the Cape of Trials. Um, it's time to start building our way to the end of this game um however before we do that i will actually i'm gonna pause it here and i will meet you guys at the crystal palace okay um on the moon so see you in a minute all right we're back that, that was a nightmare um i actually died and had to go back and do it all over again so it's taken me like 20 minutes just to get back here um, what I've done is I've changed my party to Cecil, Rydia, Kane, Rosa, and Edge. Um, I bought a lot of more high potions. Um, I should have bought Ethers, but I don't really know where they sell them. I got a lot of Phoenix Downs. Um, a lot of cottages. And I actually literally sold my tents. Right. So, not really sure where to go in here. It says, uh, doesn't really tell me, but... Um, you can uh, it says to use the teleport opt-in in here so that you can use your um, your uh, cottages and get your life back instead of using all your potion stuff. Uh, the guide brought 300 potions, high potions. I did about the same thing. Um, uh, I may stop this soon and start hunting for the summons that I've missed because there's a lot that I've missed and I'm eventually going to show you them all um, once I have them all. Um, there's a, something here, you'll find some guys called Flan Princesses, that's a funny name. Um, and they drop pink tails very rarely, um, but if you can get a, if you can farm them um, using sirens somehow, um, you can use them to get adamantite armor or admin armor, which is the best armor in the game. But they're rare. Um, I will work on that off screen. Um, okay, Charlie. He snorted. So the panels on the left and the right give us life. So that if you got here and you were hurt, uh, that's fine. But I got cottages. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and move forward. I think we go this way. We got interrupted last time. Where are we going? Go north to a fork. All right. There should be a gray panel surrounded by red. Oh, there it is. How do I get to it? All right, here we go. We shall guide you to the core. So we're at endgame, guys. Um, if it's anything like the last time we had to fight four bosses in a row that were difficult, I'm a little worried, <clears throat> to be completely honest with you. But we are now in the Lunar Subterrea. And we're going to have a boss fight, like, really quickly. That's probably... That was a Dark Sage. You've seen those before, so I didn't show them. Um, I'm going to use my potions. Okay. Um, head east and through the wall. What wall? This wall right here. That was another dark sage. 
Alright, monster in a box. Armored fiends. These guys aren't that bad. They just look scary. They look like they belong in a Doom game. And funny, he just hit me with 666. Flamethrower, yeah, that doesn't hurt that bad. Or are they maybe uh, Doom or, or like Power Rangers? Yep, I'm gonna try to get to the boss fight and beat the boss and then end it there because we got a lot of bosses and I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding off camera. Yay! Does my book smell good? Sorry, Charlie can't do it me. Hey, buddy. Are you wanting in my lap? Oh, yeah, that was definitely what he wanted. He just came up like a demon. That was kind of scary. I should probably heal um, Edge. I don't think I need to hit him with a Karaja. Just hit him with Karaja. Me, me. No, my phone vibrating. All right, they did 14. That's a lot of money. And we got a black garb. Charlie, I need you off, 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 buddy, off. I said off. That's not Charlie off. Off. He sat. Look at him. He's adorable. He's sitting with dad. You should get a picture. Smile, well, Charlie. Charlie. He's playing video games with Dad. All right, what do we got? We got a black guard for Edge. All right, drops his, raises his defense by a lot, but drops his attack a little bit. Weird. All right, whatever. Hmm. All right, that was another Dark Sage. That Dark Sage ambushed us, so I decided to run away. Okay, now what do we do? Accidentally made a latte. <laughs> no, really, like my creamer is popping. I don't know why. Okay, I think there's a wall. This time we ambushed the Dark Sage. What a, oh, are you serious? She ambushed us back and hit, uh, my, hit Edge for one. Right, okay, we're just gonna keep ambushing each other? Okay, I ambushed another Dark Sage. Right. That was another Dark Sage. Okay, now what are we doing? Monster in a box. What are we gonna fight here now? Um, oh. Okay. Oh, nothing new. You guys have seen these guys. Moon Maiden and Dark Sages. Yeah, he needs caffeine. Hey, I know it smells good. Charlie. 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 Hello. you. Hey, Apparently he was offended by my tongue. Ow, that hurt. You just stabbed me, sir. Well, you gave him cotton words, so. I know, I stuck my tongue at him. How dare I? That was my toe. He does not care. He bit my toe. It was not his. <laughs> I right. have something weird going on with the unemployment stuff. What do you mean? They're still not 
approved me, but then it said something when I checked it this morning. Hold on. I don't know. Why did I get a refund from eBay? What did you, what'd you get it? What? Maybe something happened with the uh, item. Yeah, I got a refund for it. For the Mickey Mouse one? Yeah. Well, that sucks. Okay, so what did I get? I got a Sage's staff for Rosa. It says even though it's weaker than what we were using, it raises her spirit, so it's worth it. I'll go with it. I mean, it might know more than me. Uh, I shouldn't be attacking much anyway, so okay, that makes sense. Okay, before we move, we're at the boss point. So we're going to go ahead and make sure everyone's got full life. Everyone's pretty good on magic, so that's a plus. Um, and then we're going to have Rosa cast Float. Um... So I gotta read this, but uh, let's go see what's gonna happen. We're gonna get into a fight. Apparently I'm approved and it just never told me. Getting a job because we're not paying you for your living. Like, you're not. We're, we're not. We, we couldn't survive on that. You're barely covering groceries. Okay, what the hell did I do wrong? Well? Let's pick three jobs that I applied for. Out of the 300, and tell the government about it. I, I, I jumped the gun a little bit. We were supposed to go here, and then cast float. I applied for a customer service management job. Why not? Said it was a great fit. I can see it. No, I do have. All right, here we go. Ten years of customer service. This is the white dragon. This is not the white dragon. This is a silver dragon. Did I get attacked before I got a chance to do the fight? Are you serious? Right before the boss fight, I got attacked by a silver dragon. To the seeker of this blade, I bring death. Okay, that was violent. Aggressive. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause it. It is a white dragon. He has 32,700 life. Um, don't physically attack him because he will cast slow, which is really bad. Having slow on Rosa at the wrong time will kill, will end up costing you a defeat. So Kane, Cecil, and Edge will use items only. Have Rosa cast haste on Rydia and then Karaja every turn. Because uh, this one uses Maelstrom too. Yay. Rydia is going to summon Bahamut or Sylph if we need extra life. Um, summoning causes the white dragon to do earthquakes, but since we're floating, we won't get hit. All right, so that's pretty simple. Um, wait, 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 wait. What was she doing? She was doing haste on Rydia. Okay. Are you kidding me? So haste on Rydia, and then summon Bahamut. Now it's gonna it's gonna counterattack with earthquake, but we are floating, so it won't hurt us. 
Mm. I have to reapply. All right. I already don't like this boss. <laughs> you missed. I think we're doing pretty good. I think it's gonna die. Might be. It might die this round. If not, it'll die soon. I don't know. I think I'm a little overpowered, but that's gonna be alright because uh, this is. Yeah. This round is, it will do it for sure. Say goodbye to the white dragon. Of course you did that right before. Don't you kill anyone. Just in case, I don't trust this game. This game could be mean. Bahamut, kill the white dragon, please. And it is dead. We got a lot of experience. And we got the Murasame. All right. Oh wow, we are. Oh boy. Do not move because we we get into a single fight. It's game over. It's actually probably a good place to teleport out. And yeah, so we got Murasame. So yeah, there we go. So um, I think that's gonna be it. So oh oh, one controller just fell. Until next time, adios amigos.